Seven-year-old Salim was an orphan. When he was three years old, he lost his parents. Now, Salim and his five-year-old younger brother lived in a colony with other orphans near a river bank. They used to live in a broken house made out of grass and some bushes. But they had to get food or money on their own for fulfilling their needs. Salim, together with his brother, went door to door asking for money and food. Sometimes they got some clothes or food, but sometimes they even had to go to sleep hungry. Salim and his brother Rian never did anything wrong, even after so many problems. Both brothers were happy with whatever they had. In fact, sometimes they even got scolded or had to hear bad words from other people. But they used to tolerate them, as they used to think it's the will of God. Salim was only seven years old, but at such young age, he had learned to face the world's problems. There was a fair near Salim's colony, where different sorts of rides, where games, clothes, and tasty sweets, as well as food, were available. People used to gather every day in order to enjoy the fair and its sound. The fragrance of tasty food also reached the colony, and Salim and Rian were getting even hungrier. One day, Rian couldn't resist it and said, "Rian, brother, I also want to go to the fair. Please take me there." Salim, "No, Rian. We are poor. We don't have money to buy anything at the fair." Salim explained a lot to Rian, but in the end, he stopped arguing with his younger brother. After all, Rian was a kid who obviously got attracted to the fair. Next day, Salim and Rian, as usual, went door to door asking for some food and money. But it seemed like today God was planning something else. Today, people were not even opening their doors. And it was noon now, and Salim got only three rupees in his hand. Both brothers were tired, as well as hungry. After trying for a few more places, they finally got something to eat, but they still had the same amount of money. After all this, both brothers came back home tired. But Salim knew that with so little money, they couldn't even afford their dinner today. So enjoying the fair was out of the question. But he didn't want to hurt his brother. That's why he took Rian, and they visited the fair. Salim and Rian were astonished after watching the lights and decorations. As well as the surroundings of the fair, Salim and Rian went to a sweet shop. Salim, Uncle, how much is this sweet? Shopkeeper, Go away! Don't waste my time. The shopkeeper saw their old and torn clothes and thought that they couldn't afford anything. It was the same story around. Whichever shop they went to, all of the shopkeepers treated them in the same way. Disappointed, Salim and Rian were coming back, and all of a sudden, someone pushed Salim from behind amongst the crowd, and those three rupees which they had fell into the sewer line. Salim started crying. All the money which he had got today fell into a sewer line. Then an old man 
put his hand on Salim's shoulder and said, Old man, don't cry, son, over the thing which you have lost. Thinking about it won't help you either. Salim, Baba, now we don't have a single penny. We won't be able to eat our food today. Old man, I have no money, but I have this box. You can take it. Salim, but what will I do with this box? As Salim looked at that old man, that man had disappeared. Salim took the box and they went straight to their house. As Salim opened the box, he noticed that the box was empty. Rian, brother, what shall we do with this empty box? I thought this box must have good dishes in it. As soon as Rian said those words, in no time the box was filled with good dishes. Those brothers were shocked, and they ate all that food as fast as they could. Now, whenever they both wanted to have food, they opened the box and just asked for it. After this, Salim and Rian no longer needed to go to bed hungry. They also started giving food to other orphans because they had their good days.